Hello, welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be looking at this game, this forest, <clears throat> um, Bear Mountain, I call it, because where he lives. As you can see, mushrooms, you just call it Mushroom Mountain, I think. Um, again, it's another one that's been a bit neglected. Moss is growing crazy all over it and i think the moss is actually stopping the water getting down into the trees the trees seem to be suffering a bit which i don't mind too much i'm thinking i might change these trees on this in the spring put a different different group of trees on it these i don't know they seem to be really suffering this, this one anyway and this main one was doing good but I don't know maybe I'll just leave it as a dead tree when it if it does die to it well it's still alive but very little branches on it um, and maybe I'll just take out this one and this one and add maybe some more trees maybe take out add some more but we'll see Um I made this using a piece of polystyrene like this it's got a piece like this, and then I used a blowtorch and molded it with a blowtorch to the shape I wanted. And then I put some mesh over it. Oh, back in there. And put uh, thin layers of cement. I dyed the cement, and then I just put thin layers of cement. Just added, kept adding layers until. End up like this. So well, today I'm gonna clean off the, you know, the weeds and maybe take some of the moss away from the base of the trees. Anyway, especially get that out if I can. That, that root is well dug in. Yeah, I'm gonna take out all the. Mushrooms because they definitely don't belong here. Yeah, so what I do is what I did with this is if you use a blowtorch, it kind of melts it into good shapes. You can basically use it as a carving tool carve one of the shape you want and then put like um you know, like a cloth mesh kind of thing i soaked it in some really thinned out cement and i wrapped it in that then and then i put that on it and then i just kept building up thin layers of cement oh, thin layers to um Get the shape I wanted. <laughs> the handy thing with it is, done like that, it's lightweight. You know, it's still a bit of weight in it, all right, but nothing compared to it. If it was a rock of that size, that's it. So, the handy way of making a little landscape kind of a thing. It's easy to drill through the wire on and stuff and you can get the moss to grow on it quite easy this is I clean off all these trunks yeah maybe I'm bring the camera in a bit closer now you've seen the the overall look of it we'll bring the clan Camera a bit closer so you can see a better look at the trees. Okay, so just want to try and clear the moss off from the trunks of these. See, my fear with these is because of the slope of it that the water, though it still feels quite damp up here. 
not sure if it's getting enough water through all this moss. The moss might be stopping the water soaking in fast enough that it's running off. So I just want to clear off some of this moss back around the base of the trees, especially. So let the water into the roots. Get rid of some of these weeds out of it. Can't turn around and show you the back because it's not my shed isn't big enough. I've got some rocks on it, but I don't know if I even need them now at this stage. I might do a better better work on the landscape in the spring. Do a bit of a nicer landscape on it. Maybe put some paths or something. Like I said, I might take out some of these trees and switch them out for some new ones. Or I might decide to do a whole new, different kind of forest on it. We'll see. This one, because it's it's another one that's been a bit neglected. There, because it's at the back. Because it's so tall. I have it at the back. And my benches aren't like typical benches. Mine are. You have to move trees to get to the ones at the back, which tends to be the reason why some of them get neglected at the back. I'm just going to take off the rocks and leave them off for now, because maybe I'll leave that one. They're just covered in moss anyway. So they're just adding weight and like that if I'm going to redo it in the spring anyway these holes where the rocks were will up let water in and hold the water and let water in and maybe help the trees out a bit wash them over there and um, now trees themselves. You can see this one's got wire on it, which is really biting in. So is that one back there you can see. This is what happens when you have too many trees. One just get neglected. Yeah, see if we can get that wire out. I think what I'd like to do with this is put trees in that I don't need to wire. Just use clip and grow. Because like that, when you're doing forests especially, wiring is not the greatest thing because it's hard to get in and to all the trees when they're all on top of each other and then when they're wired. And into a big job to try and get in there to get the wire out. Hence, why this one's been neglected. Wire is really biting in places on this one, on this tree. I do need a good source now. If I do decide to keep these trees, there's far too many branches on some of them. There's like quite a big lump here on this one, where there's a world of trees, a uh, world of branches, sorry. And they need to all be reduced down. Okay, so. I'll go through the trees and I'll get off the wire and then we'll come back and have a look. Have a look. Okay. I've started taking off the wire, but 
they're so badly scarred some of the trees this back one here is so badly scarred it's actually they can't get the wire out it's swallowed the wire so i do think i'm going to in the spring take all these trees out and put them in my garden or something and redo this forest because I've just neglected it too much. Really, I can't even get the wire out to some of the places. And it's really made horrible lumps and bumps on the trunks, so lumps and bumps on the trunks. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm gonna take it all out. I'll probably just plant it in the garden as is, as a forest, just leave it, grow away. Maybe it'll eventually just swallow the wire up and not look too bad in a few years. Once it grows in the garden, I'm sure it'll go crazy. But I think it's definitely we're just starting again. They're only young trees, these, and they got the nursery. So I think I'll get trees that. Like I said, do more of a clip and grow. I won't bother putting wire on them. And yeah, redo the forest again. So for now, I'll just put it back on the bench and wait till the springtime. And I'll keep my eyes open and just think maybe something like larch or, you know. And whatever I decide, anyway, I'm going to do it without wiring. And maybe keep keep it a bit closer to the front so that I can um, get to it easier and work on it. Because when you have big trees like this, which have a bit of weight in them, and that's right at the back, you tend to think that you have to move trees to get it out, and then you're going to carry it down and all that. It's just not ideal. So maybe I should find somewhere a bit closer where I can work on it. Because like my large forest on the big slab, I can keep my eye on that. It's near, it's easy to get to, and I can just keep checking it and trimming it if need be and stuff like that. Whereas this one has obviously been pretty neglected. Back of it hasn't seen much sun. It's pretty dead back here. So yeah. So Okay, so we'll come back to this one in the spring and we'll take it out. Don't even think, I'm not sure if I wired them in or not. Or did I just plant them and they're just they're locked in anyway, whatever. But yeah, so we'll leave this one for now. We'll come back in the spring. We'll have a look at it then. Okay, thanks for watching.